Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our template for the research exhibition. So if you go to this URL, it's guides.centralpen.edu slash research exhibition. You're going to come to our research exhibition guide. And then if you go over here to the template tab, you're going to see these two documents right here. So there's an example on the bottom with a bunch of information in it with an example topic, and then there's the research template where you can drop in your own information. So if I open up this research template, it opens up this PowerPoint presentation. And I'm going to walk through these just to show you the kind of information that you should include. So remember, this is only a template. We want you to be creative. You can stray from this. You don't have to use this design. You don't have to put the information in this exact order if it doesn't make sense for you. So think about your own project and what you're trying to do. So the first slide is pretty easy. It's just the project title and your name. You can work in a group depending on your class assignment. So put all of the names of the presenters here. And then the second slide is the research problem question issue. If you have an assignment where you need a thesis statement, that's a good place to put it right here. So what is your research topic? And if you're doing a physical board, an actual poster board, down here on each slide, we have a suggestion about where it can go. So here's the middle left panel. So you can look at that on each slide too. Now the next one is on your goals. So what are you actually trying to find out? What's the goal of the research here? The next part, and this is a really important part, this is a required part, is your research approach. So how did you do your research? Did you interview people or were you doing research in databases and trying to find information on your research problem or issue or topic? How did you get your information? So describe what you did. Next is key theories. Now the word theories can be a little intimidating. This really just means what kind of patterns or ideas keep coming up in your research? So what terms, what theories, what ideas keep coming up in all the articles that you're reading? And list them right here. So what patterns are you seeing? What are some important concepts in your topic or issue? And then a conclusion. So what did you find out? What did you learn? What were the results? Did you expect it and why or why not? Um, and then this is really important for a lot of reasons. What are the next steps? So it's not too much, it's pretty easy. And then again, if you're doing a physical poster board, you might want to keep some space open so you can have infographics. And we have that on our research guide. We have videos and information about how you can make graphs and infographics. That's pretty easy. And then last is references. So you do need a reference slide. And that's going to go right here. Central Penn College uses APA, but if you work in legal studies, we also have the blue book. So keep that in mind. A few other quick tips. It depends on your topic what information you're going to include. So you don't have to stick to this, be creative, but there are a couple things you absolutely need. You need the title, which is up here on the first slide. So you need to have a project title and you need to have the name of all the presenters, whether it's one, two, three, whether it's a group or individual, make sure you have all of the full names. You need to have the research approach, which is how you did it, how you came up with this information, where you got it from. And you need to have the reference slide with full references. So those are the things that you absolutely need, but the rest is dependent upon your specific research assignment. And then the other little tidbit is you need in-text citation. So we encourage you to use graphs and charts and photos, but you need to have in-text citations on these on the slides if you're doing a digital presentation, just like you would if you were writing a paper. So in parentheses, you want to have the author's name and the year it was published, just like a normal in-text citation near a photo or any information that comes from your research. So keep that in mind. And of course, as always, if you have questions, reach out to the librarians because we're happy to help you and good luck.